Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a custom preloader on Wix. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on Wix.com and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here in the top, you're going to find the option to create a new folder and right next to it, you're going to find the option to create a new site. In the center of your screen, you're going to find all of the sites that you have on Wix. So right now, have your mouse over the sites you want to edit and then click on select and edit site. Once you do that, you're going to be taken to your dashboard. So once here in the dashboard, just go here to the bottom left and click on edit site. Once you do that, you're going to be redirected to this tab right here. So this is going to be the Wix website editor. Just wait for this page to load. And then once loaded, this is how it will look like. So once you're here in this page, if you go to the left, as you can see, guys, you're going to find the option to add elements, add section, pages and menu, site design, and so on. So right now, go ahead and click on add element. And after that, go ahead and click on embed code. Once you do that, go ahead and click on embed HTML. And then once here, all you need to do, guys, is add the code for the uh, preloader. So if you have any code, just paste it right here and click on apply. So right now I'm going to uh, search for a website where there is a lot of free loaders. So just if you want to visit it, just uh, type loader free font end and then go ahead and s select the first link. Once you do that, you're going to be here in this page. So once here, just scroll a little bit down and then here you're going to find a lot of designs. So for example, I'm going to choose this one, here you're going to find links, right here you're going to find the links to download, and here you're going to find demo and code. So I'm going to select demo and code. Here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find the HTML code, CSS, and also the JavaScript. So right now, I'm going to copy the HTML code, and then go back here to HTML settings, paste the code, and then click on update, and then it will be updated. You can try out different codes until one code works for you. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.